What's up, YouTube? Me, I bought Dutch Open, and today I'm gonna teach you guys how to SSH. So let's slide to lock here, and let's head into Cydia. Go ahead and let this load. You like that picture, huh? Yeah, I love it. All right, and I know I'm not backgrounding. I just paused the video for a second. All right, we're gonna go ahead and search, and it's a community source, so you don't have to have any sources. We're gonna go ahead and search open. And you're gonna scroll down, and there you go. Open SSH is what you're gonna see. Go ahead and click on that. And mine says modify in the top right corner, but yours will say install, and then click confirm and install that. And it's gonna make me reload my data, but I'm gonna just X off the of video. Next thing you wanna do is head into your settings. Go ahead and scroll down to general. And then go ahead and hit on auto lock. And it should be set to a minute or two minutes. Go ahead and click on never. Alright, go ahead and back out. So once you've done that, we're going to go ahead and head into the computer. So let's go ahead and do that. Alright, so I'm already loaded up on the website. You're going to need to be on my computer. So you're going to click on download, but it should already be on the download for what I've got for you guys. And if you see under here, download when SCP 4.2.9. And you're going to click on installation package here. And it's going to bring this website. Go ahead and download it, but I've already done it. You see, you're going to see WinSCP right there. You're going to go ahead and click in it. Wait for it to load. And use my iPod. Remember, you want to keep that iPod open. You don't want to lock it. And you want to go ahead and type in your IP address. Actually, I'm going to move this. Um, your IP address can be found right there in the um, SP settings if you downloaded that. Or if you don't know how to, if you don't have SP settings, go ahead and go to your settings. I accidentally clicked on it and I'll go back. Go to your settings. And then scroll up to your Wi Fi. And then click on the arrow by your network. And right there is where your iPod IP address will be. I blinked it out for security purposes once again. So go ahead and back out. And once you've done that, I'm going to move my iPod over here. And go ahead and type in your IP address one more time. I'm going to look at it on my iPod. So there it is right there. So I'm going to type it in. There it is. It's in. Your username is going to be root, R-O-O-T, and your password's Alpine. No, this is not my login. This is for everybody. Hit on login, and it's gonna search for the host and all that, and then wait a second for it to pop up. Bam, there you are. So here's what it looks like, and you see on the left side, this is gonna be all your computer files. On the right side of this program, or well, the lines in the middle, um, this is gonna be your iPods directory. So now you know how to SSH in your computer. So next time they say login to WinSCP, you know how to SSH. You're going to know where to go. They're going to tell you the folders and all that, and you're going to know how to get in. So that's a video on how to SSH. So those are your tips. Download open SSH. Keep your iPod open and do all that good stuff. Thanks for watching. Uh, there you go, Chase 09. I mean, iPod touch open. Peace out.